like that. But if you ever anything doesn't go where you want it, move it around and get it where you want it. You're not hurting the data that it came from. You are simply manipulating the display of the consolidated information, the aggregated information. That's all you're doing. Okay. So we're going to do all kinds of stuff like that and move things around if we want to. We haven't fully answered this question because this question asked which customer had the highest sales. If we stopped, we could, we could figure out from here. Okay. But they said of 787-9s, right? 787-9s. We actually have to filter this pivot table. Okay? We actually have to go in and just see the 787-9s, ones that bought 787-9s. Okay? So I'm gonna, that's, mo that's model, right? Yeah. So I'm going to choose model. Here's what happened when I clicked it first. It went in as a subcategory, like airline, and then a subcategorization would be, and these are the planes they bought. Next airline, these are the planes they bought. Next airline. That is not how I wanted this. I wanted to have the ability, ability to filter by model because I was asking for a specific, unique instance of one particular model. So I can actually take this from down here where it, where it put it, which is not where I wanted it, in the rows, and drag it up to the filter. Okay. So I just created a filter up here for model. Now, they're all displaying right now, but that filter right there, by dragging that up from here to here, that filter gives me the ability to choose just 787-9s. That's it. Now, I think when you answer a question, so there's, there's, there are the airlines that bought 787-9s. Here's how many planes they bought, all consolidated down this information. But I think when you are asked a question like, who, who bought the most, who bought the least, what's the biggest, what's the smallest, I think you ought to take your data and sort it. Because your table still could be big enough that you scanning down it would miss something, you know. So I think you should right click in this column and sort it so that you're looking at, in this case I asked for the largest, so I'll do largest to smallest. I think that makes it easier for you then to answer the question, these two tie for having the most. Okay, those two tie. And just so you know, by default, the pivot table is going to take numeric fields and sum them. So what this is telling us is for these airlines, how many planes they bought that were 787-9s. If I wanted to though, if I right clicked on this, I could have chosen to see the count instead, which would have told me how many orders they placed that had 780s that were 787-9s. So they they placed four orders, four orders, you know, anyway. But that's not what it asked, so I didn't really need to do that because it's not what it asked. It did ask for the sum. We needed to ask for the total, the biggest sales. Okay. okay, so that is where we got with the other class, and that got us through the first slide of tasks that we need to do. There's three more slides on tasks we need to do. We'll do them on Thursday. This was simple filtering, and this was a simple pivot table. So we haven't gotten into the advanced filtering or the advanced tools that you can do with pivot tables yet. So I don't know. I don't know what Blackboard's doing, but try your best to get this file. It's still not up. It just came up. Just came up. Well, I guess that's good for the rest of us. But grab those files. Grab those files and pull them onto your computer because who knows what will be happening on Thursday.